Hello from Firefox and today we're going to do a very quick review of a bushcraft base camp. Slightly different shelter this one. This is a bell tent uh, along the lines of traditional scout bell tents. Let's have a quick look around. The tent is supported by two very sturdy wooden poles. One supports the apex, lifts up the apex of the door and the main pole goes up through the centre. Uh, obviously you lose a little bit of floor space, workable floor space there, but uh, good headroom for, for working and living underneath. Now for the guide points we've got nine main ones going around the side here and what I'd suggest is replace any metal pegs with some very wide ash pegs. So ash is great, takes a good pounding, but it also provides a lot of surface area with the soil so you get a good solid peg into the ground. So the nine eight anchor points are pegged out, the guy lines, the poles go in and the next job is to put the floor in and the floor gets pegged out I think uh, it's about eight or ten pegs for the floor and we've got a very neat toggle system so it toggles in and we've got a bathtub floor good solid and thick on top of that we've got some coconut matting which is good and durable and uh, keeps it nice and dry underfoot Good head height, I'm six foot, so plenty of room around here without feeling claustrophobic. A couple of other features, we've got some vents here with mesh, good for mosquitoes, not great for midges, a little bit too thick a weave to keep the midges out, but still good ventilation there. And also got some really good ventilation down below, Velcro panels that undo on both sides so you can control the airflow. I suppose one disadvantage would be leaving these open uh, to the elements and the driving rain that's going to come in if you're facing your door to the east as traditionally it should be. Another nice advantage of this bell tent is the straight wall that goes up rather than the roof meeting the floor which means you get an awkward bit of space, dead space, it's often not used with this wall then you can get all your furniture right in against the side, pack your kit in and it makes good use of the space so the walls are good. So all in all plenty of floor space for a group of four I'd say. Uh, disadvantage with this particular shelter is unlike a Scandinavian lavu or TP tent TP, you can't have the fire in although you do have the option to unbuckle the floor and have it without the floor obviously you've got no smoke flaps to let out the smoke also with the bell tents bit of a tendency to gather insects in the apex of the bell tent which very, they're very difficult to get out um, what I'd say as well uh, if you're gonna spend some time in a bell tent get yourself an outdoor kitchen and this one simply rigged up using a basher and we've got some fresh green thick hazel supporting the basher an important safety feature we've got a crossbar which has been drilled through and pegged both sides and then you can tie in the kitchen stand and that's going to give you added safety. You don't want two litres of boiling water tipping over on you just because the floor is unsafe underneath the kitchen. So tie it in, lock it in and you've got a good clean airy cooking space. So that concludes our quick look at the bell tent. Thanks for watching from Firefox.